think it's acceptable if I just left it like right out front, you know, just parked it like here, right on the road, the delivery road, just to make a statement, just to be like, I have arrived. You know, it is the kind of truck that you would do that in. Insane. Pain meds. It's a new addiction I got going. Kidding. Kidding. Bailed right there. Today's a special day. Not only is it the first vlog back of 2020, but today we're looking at a new camera. One might say the camera. The camera that started it all. Starts with a one, ends in a two. Or does it end in a three now? Alright man, what's up? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Glad to be back. How was Vancouver? It was nice. Nice. Good weather. Nice. Very good weather. That's surprising. Yeah. I stopped locking my truck because I just don't care. It's Canada. <laughs> That's gonna bite me in the ass one day. I bring my gear with me though. We are headed into Canon HQ today to start things off with a little, little bit of a tech review, a little, little bit of a hands-on first look, first glimpse of the 1DX Mark III. Yes. Cat's out of the bag. You pumped? Yes, super pumped, super pumped. I'm leaving this EOS R in the lobby and we're going back. Probably not because I actually love this camera, but remember how everyone hated me for liking this camera and no one thought I would stick with it? <laughs> I can see him, I can see him. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome man? back, good to see you. All right, here we go, coffee. Canon Cafeteria Coffee. We're gonna rate it, see how good it is. I heard it comes out of a Lamar's Oko machine. Whoa, what the heck is this? Why is it Whoa. doing that? I did not know that. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this thing. I can do it all day. This might be more satisfying than the new camera. <laughs> I love this. I don't know why this is so funny to me. First coffee of 2020. Woo! Okay. It's in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't open it here. We have to find the best light, the best spot. Uh, I mean, it looks good everywhere, but. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's just do it right here. Okay, <laughs> no time. Wait. One, two, three. Uh, it looks the same. It still feels crispy new, but we gotta do one thing. We gotta, bam. <laughs> Here's the big reveal. Uh... Number three. I can honestly say I have waited years for this camera. All right, let's take a look. We had this AF on button with like a sensor on it. Okay, essentially, since you have 191 points of autofocus, you've got the joystick on the back of the body, but you know, cycling through each individual point, down, 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 it's like you're playing Tetris. It's like, a, it would take you forever. So with that new little AF on button with like the little sensor on it, it just flies around super fast. So you can get to any one of those points in like an instant, instead of having to like, tick, 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 tick,
it said that would just take like a hundred hours. This thing, way faster. So this does 16 frames per second now. I think the old one used to do 14. 16 frames per second uh, through the optical viewfinder. If you're going live view, 20 frames per second. We're talking photos right now, so. CF Express. What are these? Do any other cameras use these right now? The C500? So these are like almost like mini CFAST cards, but much faster. What are we talking? 1600 megabytes per second. For everyone that always wants their dual card slots, you got them both. So now these are doing uh, HEIF files instead of JPEGs, which is essentially a smaller file size, but better quality. JPEGs aren't gone by any stretch of the imagination. They're still here, it's still an option. So I think JPEGs were 8-bit uh, color. These are now 10-bit. So like I said, smaller file size, better quality. Okay, there's a look side by side. One DX Mark II. This is mine. This is the Mark III. A little bit of a cleaner layout. Everything's kind of here now. You get the remote moved to this side. Uh, I think it used to be, yeah, down here on that one, which was always a bit of like a hunt. Batteries in the same place. I think you get double the performance. So it can take like twice the amount of photos. It's actually the same battery. So like your 1DX2 batteries, it's exactly the same. It's just, I guess the camera is built more efficiently to better use the battery life when you're taking photos. All right, so jumping into the movie recording menu, you guys all know with the 1DX, look how many options you have now. <laughs> Out, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. The most impressive probably being 5K, no crop, 60 frames a second, Canon log, and the bit rate for that is what? 2.6 gigabits per second. That is just ridiculous. Now when you're in a mode like that, you don't have autofocus, but you can now get focus peaking with the 1DX, which is great. So it'll like, if you've used any of their cinema cameras before, you get that nice red outline. You guys know what focus peaking is. Um, and in some of the other modes as well, you have focus assist, which is also from like the cinema line where like the, the lines line up in the middle so that you know you're spot on. So, so many different options. 4K raw 60, 4K raw 30, 4K raw 24, and they have a cropped and an uncropped version. There's so much. The raw is actually 5.5K. So any, anytime you're shooting in raw, it's actually 5.5K raw. And the 4K footage uh, is oversampled 4K. When you hit the, the bald button up top, playback, delete, and your menu, info, and Q button all light up on the back. Full touch screen now. That's new. It was never touch screen before. Now it is. Ah, oh, there's no, there's no pop-up flash. Oh, that's a miss. I was really hoping for that pop-up flash. Get a little. <laughs> like a Jedi. All right, man, thank All you. Right, take care. I will see you later. Yep. Yeah, see you soon. So the 1DX Mark III. I really wanted to take it outside. I really wanted to just like Look mob, at it. yeah, mob around with the Raptor and the 1DX3 and 5.5K raw. New One Digic happy. processor, Digic X, and then the Digic 8 processor just handles the autofocus. Apparently, that's cool. Oh, I didn't fill up my windshield fluid. Oh, that's the worst. Why is it always windy when you try to fill washer fluid? You gotta block the wind so you don't lose half your fluid to the road. They never flow well. Just feels so exposed. I don't know, are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited for it because it feels like kind of like a fresh start. I started the career on the 1DX Mark II on YouTube used it religiously, so the new one coming out kind of feels like a refresh, and the year just started, so hopefully it comes out sooner than later so that we can actually take advantage of this year and using it. So I wanna take it to some cool spots. I wanna, I'm not gonna freeze it, or take it apart, decide it, I will leave it intact. I'm also not gonna put it in the back of an all-terrain vehicle with the microphone attached, but I'm looking forward to getting hands-on and actually using it.
because it's been just like such a staple of my, I think my very first like what's in my camera bag video, I was talking about the 1DX Mark II. You guys know, this is my main beast, Canon 1DX Mark II. It's a pro body camera. Why do I use it for vlogging and for video and for photos? Because it's great at all of those things. How do you, <laughs> this is his vlogging camera. It's not even a joke. This is a big camera. This camera is heavy. That is one of the drawbacks. Can, can I feel how heavy? Oh my gosh. One handed. Ah! You got it, check it out. You got it, look at that. What's up guys? Peter has a bicep that big on his right arm and his left arm bicep is like It's like a noodle. By the way, new year, new office. We're just starting to move things in now. So tomorrow, we're going to take all of our old stuff out of Maddie's office and bring it into the new spot. And uh, the best part is there's not 45 steps up to the top to grab everything. So still got to get it all and then bring it back down. But that'll suck. But it's the last time. 